No, it's on me. Um, can't have that. First red zone interception in the second half. What were you looking for on that, on that play? And also the second half? Yeah, I mean, the first one's fourth down. Um, no sense in taking a sack or throwing the ball away, giving somebody a chance. Those are those are going to happen. Um, second one, just bad ball, bad decision. At what point this week did you feel confident you were going to be able to play today? Um, <clears throat> I just progressed throughout the week pretty steadily. Um, put a lot of hours in into getting ready to play. You know, appreciate the guys in the training room for helping me get back out there. Um, I, I don't know if I can give you a definite day, but I always felt like I could play. Did that in injury impact you at all today? No. Three straight second halves like this. How discouraging is that? And do you have an explanation? Um, no explanation as of now. Just we got to execute better. Um, that's that's on my shoulders. Again, four turnovers today. Uh, three were by me and. Losing sucks. That's just what it is. You hate to lose, especially that way. How do you, how do you turn this around, Josh? I know it's only one game at a time, but when you guys did this thing right, the turnover's been a consistent problem in the last few Yeah, I mean, it comes down to my shoulders and my shoulders only, making the right decisions, making the right throws, um, you know, putting our best foot forward in practice. This one's, this one's going to suck watching. Um, only ways forward. We gotta we gotta find a way to put this behind us and not let it affect our next one. What were they doing on first down to kind of stymie your guys' run game? There were a lot of you guys had to face a lot of second and tens because you weren't getting much on first down in the run game. Um, I honestly couldn't tell you the answer to that right now uh, until we kind of go back and look at it. Um, they, uh, they had a good plan today. Josh, I know you said it was a bad decision on the, the final interception. What, what did you? Um, I mean, kind of a double post-ish concept there. Harrison uh, Smith took the kind of the over route, and I felt he was in a position where he could stop if I threw it over the top. So I just tried to drive it, and um, again, that's a, it's a savvy vet and, and Pat Pete um, can't make the throw. Josh, you guys were up 17, and you know nine times out of ten that would call for a team to run the ball. What do you think? Is it, is it more or less of a, a lack of execution or? Um, again, not can't, can't give you an honest answer there. Um, you know, I gotta I gotta do more on that aspect too. Maybe um, we'll get it right. I, I trust the guys in this locker room. Um, trust the, the staff that we got, and we'll get it right. Josh, this is three straight games without touchdown in the second half. Do you sense something different in the second half? Is it scheme? Is it just you guys execution wise? Because it's been since the Kansas City game since you scored the second. Yeah, it comes down to the guys on the field and um, making the right plays. You know, we were horrendous in the red zone, and that's again on my shoulders. Um, so we gotta gotta clean it up for sure. Just the worst you felt since the Kansas City lost in the playoffs. Yeah, this one sucks. You guys are now in third place in the division. Uh, what do you have to do to regroup and, and work your way back to better effort next week? Just one game at a time. Have a good week of practice. Turn this one and. Now let's not let this one become two games. So you guys talking to each other about the way that Minnesota has, this is their fifth win in the last two, three minutes of the game this year. They don't go away. Did you guys talk about that? Um, not necessarily. Um, again, we, we do our job on offense. I do my job. It's a, it's a different game, uh, different story right now. So it is what it is. Thanks, everybody. Thank you. Thank you, Coach. Josh Allen speaking to the media after the Buffalo Bills lose 33-30 in overtime to the Minnesota Vikings to fall to 6-3 on the season. Uh, Minnesota improving to 8-1, and, and Josh Allen over his last two games has not been the Josh Allen that we've expected him to be. He's been in the MVP conversation throughout the course of this season, but his name starting to fade from that conversation after these two games. One touchdown pass, four interceptions. The Bills have lost two in a row. Next week, they host the Cleveland Browns. Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis, no yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.